Well, spring game coming up. Uh, you know, what's kind of the format going to be like, and what are you hoping to see out there? Well, format will have blues, oranges, kind of our starters, backups. They'll go mix it up back and forth. Um, and really, at that point, the coaches are deciding who's going to go in and play with the ones and twos. For us, we'll have a format of Boise State versus Broncos. All right, we'll go the same directions uh, as the end zones. We've done that before. We've had that mm -hmm. format. Uh, we're still looking for these guys to compete. We're looking for guys to take advantage of their reps out there, um, get a few more All right, at the end of spring. And uh, hopefully we see guys go out there and compete. You know, we get a great crowd, uh, people to come out and watch. Bronco Nation out there, seeing these guys play, get in front of people, change the atmosphere a little bit, and see these guys go out there and, and do it in a different environment. With uh, we, we, were just, we were just talking to Brad, and I was talking to Ezra. How, how have you seen the old line improve? And I, it's been it's different than last spring when I think you know a, a good majority of those guys were out that, that ended up being starters for you. Yeah, a lot different that way. You know, we got a lot of guys back. Um, you know, I think we're trying to do some different things offensively, run game wise, and, and not so much schematically, but just changing some techniques, looking at what we've done, trying to get better. I think springtime is about a little test and tune. Uh, they've handled it well. I think they've done a very good job. Uh, I think our defense has played well up front. The battle between the O-line, D-line, the edges, you know, has gone on this entire camp. So uh, I think those guys are getting better. I think they got a good group. Um, there's some experience coming back. There's some leadership in that group, uh, which we need. You know, we want to run the ball more effectively. We want to be a better downhill run team. We want to be a better overall run team. We can do it when we need to. We can do it in situations red zone, uh, third downs, whatever it is, you know, we're going to be able to run the ball. So those guys understand it. We're not there yet, um, but they've been working really hard. They've done a good job this spring. They're going to carry that over in the summer, you know, into fall camp, and then we'll see where we're at when we go play. Last you, spring kind of got a, got a, you know, a guy like an Avery Williams kind of came out of seemingly nowhere yeah. and really st stepped up. Uh, any of those guys kind of really caught your, caught your eye here so far in the spring? Um, yeah, I don't know if there's been anybody, um, and even Avery, you know, last yeah, year, I think in, all yeah. these guys – um, I think guys that have played, you know, not anyone in particular that's new necessarily. Guys that have played, you know, Keikoa continues to play well. Kala continues to play well. DeAndre Pierce, uh, David Moa, you know, the guys up front. Guys that have played for us, they're playing better. They're getting better. On the offensive side of the O-line we talked about, quarterbacks are improving. Uh, wide receiver, we've had that discussion. We're getting better. We just don't have the depth to go out there and just run play after play like we want to. So when the new guys come in, that will help. Um, but I think everybody's improved. It's just a matter of after we're done, we go evaluate where we're we going from here. And we're certainly not good enough to go out there and play right now. Um, but if these guys continue with the same mindset, we keep working hard, uh, and that shows up in the summertime, then we'll get to fall camp. We'll be better than Brett, we are now. Brett was saying the other day that he thinks Jabril Frazier's kind of gone to another level with, with his game. Uh, he didn't know if something clicked for him. He said he wasn't sure what. But what have you noticed from Jabril? And obviously, I know he's battled injuries and stuff. And, and, and you know, last year, obviously, he was able to stay healthy. When, you know, sure. how, what do you think about Jabril and you know, his prospects for his senior year? Yeah, oh, I think he said it. You know, Jabril has had, he's had a good spring. Um, I think he and the guys in the D-line have done a really good job. Uh, I think Coach Danielson and Coach K have done a good job with those guys. Um, they're just playing better. You know, he's older. Jabril is older. Jabril has more experience. Jabril is better technique-wise. Um, and he's out there making plays. You know, and so that gets noticed. You know, what Brett's talking about is he's playing at a, at a better level right now. Uh, I think the guys around him are. I think guys he's competing against are doing the same thing. So. He's elevated his game, which you hope guys going into their senior year, you know, they're able to do that. You know, some, some things start to click a little bit more. They're more consistent. Uh, and that's really showed up to me. I think the one thing with some of our older guys, the consistency at practice starts to show up. Um, and, and you're starting to see that maturity of over the years of just doing it, but knowing how hard it really is to go out there and, and be successful, you know, on the practice field. It carries over into games. We're going to play exactly how we practice. I think older guys understand that. It showed up last season, and it's no different in spring. You know, we got to take advantage of these reps that we get. That, that cheetah package with you know, Jabril and, and uh, Curtis, uh, it, it sounds like you guys would like to try to utilize both of them you know, together, maybe on the field more this year. I mean, what, it, it kind of crazy. They both play the same position. They both got first team and second team last year. I mean, how, to have two guys like that, how, how do you try to utilize them both as much as you can? You know, there? Yeah, I, the pack, I have no idea you know, that way. Um, how we get them both on the field, we'll probably figure that out. You know, they're two of our better players. They're guys that can be effective. Uh, how we utilize them, 
you know, yeah, we're trying some things out right now. How that actually works when you go play, I have no idea. Uh, but I know those guys have practiced well. I know those guys have been consistent at practice um, for the most part. And I think how we utilize them, you know, we'll figure that out as we go into summer. You know, we'll come up with some new ideas and schemes. Right now we're doing some base stuff um, towards the end. You know, we've kind of tried some things early on. Now as we finish up, we want to really just be great at fundamentals, great at the basics. Uh, as we get in the spring game, just to make sure we come out of this and, and we are better fundamentally as a team. Uh, and then we'll start getting into some of the schemes as we get into fall camp and closer to game planning. You mentioned a couple of things that you wanted to work on on the offensive side of the ball. Are there a couple of things on the defensive side of the ball that you'd like to have be better than last year? Well, I think one's always tackling, just how we do it, you know, how we coach it. Uh, and not that we did a bad job of it before. I just think it's one of those things that we're always paying attention to. How do we tackle? How do we get guys on the ground? How do we get guys to the ball? How do we get more than one? Uh, and really, that's a lot of habits in practice. You know, it's, it's always about tackling. Uh, it's a continuation, you know, of just, are we in the right spot? You know, really for a defense, I think, before the ball's ever snapped, are you in position? Are you looking at what you're supposed to be looking at? Have you communicated what you needed to? It's really a lot of this pre-snap. Uh, before we ever go out there and actually play the down. You know, that's to me is what we're always trying to look for on the defensive side. After that, there's scheme and, and things like that that we can correct uh, techniques. But what I want from our defense and what I look for is, you know, how we get into the ball, you know, what type of tackling team are we going to be? And we did a really good job of that last year. We spent a lot of time on it, studying it, and it carried over. Uh, and then before the ball is snapped, are we doing things right? Because if we are, we put ourselves in that position we're probably going to be successful on the defensive side. So those two things stand out. Uh, but those guys, technique-wise, we've done a little service stuff. We've worked on some, some other opponents um, you know, through spring practice. And I think they've done a good job of just paying attention, kind of switching gears a little bit, um, honing in on the details you know, of what we're trying to do defensively. Uh, so I know our defensive staff has been pleased where we are, uh, at least going into summer. You know, with Brett, we were talking with him the other day. I know he's always been a pretty sharp kid, but he kind of just seems like he is on a little bit of another level right now in the sense that uh, when you ask him about offensive players, you know, he's talking about John Bates and how he can leverage his size. And I mean, he, he's talking right. about all these minute things about everything that's going on around him. And just how connected do you think he feels right now with, with all that's going on around him? Yeah, I, I think all that stuff is, you know, what you expect a senior quarterback to talk about uh, as – He's progressed over the years and things he's learned. Coach Hills worked with him. Um, you know, I think he sees some of those things. Now it's actually going out there and doing it. You know, so what he's talking about, you know, what he's seeing on the field, you know, he's doing a really good job that way. And he can come back. And as you get into that, you know, you're older in your career, you're really kind of coaching yourself on the field. You come back and, you know, it's like, hey, I should have done this or that. You know, and you hear that from Brett. You hear that from some of our senior players, guys coming back and coaching themselves up. That's what he's doing.